Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm doing a Saturday series, so I'm going to be making three cards using the Batik Boutique Photopolymer stamp set from the annual catalogue. And it also comes as a bundle with the Batik dies. So here are the dies that coordinate with this stamp set. And I'm going to be putting together a couple of cards with these. But what I did notice when I pulled this out, normally with my Saturday series, I just play with one set from the catalogue and make the three cards. Because there are no um, sentiments with this, and it is literally just a graphic, I pulled out Peaceful Moments, which is purely a sentiment stamp set that is also in the annual catalogue. And I thought the two of them could be paired up together. Okay, so let's get going with my three cards. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with these, but I do know that I want to play with this piece just here. So I'm going to just grab that out. There it is. Okay, and I'll pop that onto a B block. So I'm going to grab a piece of basic white cardstock. This is 10.5 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres. And I'm actually going to do this one as a landscape rather than a portrait. I do want to have my sentiment on, so I'm just going to have a look and see which one I'm going to use. Um, I think I'm going to go with these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Let's just whip that one out of the case and pop that one onto a C block. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab some scrap basic white and I'm going to stamp that onto here because I want to die cut this out. So I think I'm just going to use one of my circle dies. I did grab a couple just in case and let's have a look with that. There you are, that's the one that will fit around it. And um, yep, okay. So I'm going to be using Memento. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Oh, that didn't stamp very well. Let's just give that another might have to re-ink my memento if that's the case. There we are, that's better. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Maybe it just wasn't me being forceful enough with the first one. So I'm going to bring in my mini cut and emboss machine. Grab my plates. Plate number two, sentiment, die, top of the sandwich, and through we go. There we are. Let's just grab that. So these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. I'm going to be using basic black again. And I'm going to balance that towards the center of my card like that. And I'm just going to pop these around the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up and then move my circle. So this will go on just like that. And isn't that just a lovely, lovely image? Okay, I'm just going to pop another one and I'm going to pop another one. So it's like that. Okay, I'm also going to grab this little circle here. Looks like bubbles. I like bubbles. And I'm actually going to grab my pool party ink. I'm 
just going to pop a couple of these bubbles around those stamped items. And this is really going to amuse one of my downloads, Karen. So I hopefully she's watching and I know she's going to be chuckling. Um, first of all, she asked me to do a card with this set. And secondly, she said how recently I've started using pool party with everything. So uh, I'm using pool party. <laughs> I've just done another one at the top there because I couldn't see the one I'd hidden underneath. And I'm quite happy with that. So then I'm going to grab my pool party blends. And the dark blend I am going to use on the underside of these types of leaves, just here. And I'm also going to do the underside of the flowers with the dark too. Okay, and do that on all of them. Okay, light pool party. Just at the top there. And also on the top of that bit there. just going to pop this up on a dimensional or three okay I'm going to place that onto my base Okay, and then to decorate it, I'm going to just grab my gold gilded gems. They look like this when you buy them, but I have got some left on this one here. So I'm just going to grab those off. And I'm going to place one with every little bubble that I've done. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay. Next two cards, do, 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 okay. I think I'm gonna go with this pretty pattern here. And pop that onto a block. I'm then going to use the outline of this circle. So I'm going to put this onto a slightly smaller piece of Whisper White. So this one here is 10 centimetres by 14.25 centimetres. So there will be a little bit of a gap on the cardstock for this one. It will have a frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that circle roughly where I think is the middle. And I'm just going to grab a pencil. 
fancy starting crafting without a pencil. Okay, and I'm just going to draw myself a very light circle just in the centre there. So that's where my sentiment's going to go and I'm going to punch um, die cut it out again. So I know that that's exactly where my sentiment's going to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate it around it. So I'm going to grab fresh freesia. And I'm going to put this, so you can hopefully see my circle with my pencil. I'm going to put this just so the dot of that sits on the edge of the circle. Okay. And I'm going to do four of those around the outside. Okay, now what colour goes nicely with fresh freesia? Let me have a think. Um, <coughs> I'm going to use Smoky Slate. I know it's not a colour, but I think it goes really nicely with, well, it goes nicely with everything. I love the Smoky Slate, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to... Do that in the middle of each of these again, so that the edge of each bit comes over there. Like that. And then I'm just gonna clean this little bubble one off that I used earlier. And I'm going to grab the basic grey. So it's a slightly darker grey, the basic grey. There's basic grey, there's smoky slate. I'm going to grab that. And I'm just going to pop the bubbles like that. So the smaller bubble is coming over the circle each time just in the middle. Doesn't matter about the other ones lining up because that's where your sentiment's going to go. So it doesn't make a tiny bit that you can't see those. It doesn't matter at all. You just want this small one to be showing on each bit. Like that. Okay. Keep the lid off your basic grey so that you can do your sentiment, because I'm not going to be using Memento if it's not anywhere else on the card. So I'm just going to ink up those moments. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Okay, I'm going to grab my die and do the exact same with the circle. line it up put that plate on top run it through That will just go on there like that okay do i want any ribbon on with it that's the question no i've decided i don't let's pop this up where's my dimensionals gone Okay, there you go. And to finish it off, I'm gonna use some of the black matte dots, the little ones, and I'm just gonna pop them kind of 
kind of like that. And then I'm going to pop this onto my base cardstock. And like I said, this will have um, a frame. So what I'm thinking of with this one is I have some fresh freesia just here. This has a slight frame like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself a strip of fresh freesia. I'm just going to cut it at an inch. And then I'm going to stick it along the edge of the card. Like that. Chop it off like that. And then when this goes on, it'll just have a little bit behind it like that. Okay. There we go. Card number one card number two. So card number three, let me get it back. I'm very wary as well, I actually haven't used any of the dies for this set, so let's have a look at them again. Um, okay, let's play with this one here. I'm not sure what it's going to look like when it comes out. I haven't played with these dies yet. I don't know um, exactly how it's going to look. I'm going to be using pale papaya. And I think I just need to chop that down because at the moment it's a bit too big for my plate. So I just need to take probably about what, a centimetre, a centimetre and a half of that. much off let's see if that fits yeah it kind of does okay right let's pop this through and see what it looks like eh one two I'm going to pop this at the top because ideally I think I want two of these out if it looks like I think it's going to look we'll soon find out <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought, hey, oh, it's um, it looks like it's embossed them instead of die cut them. And I'm thinking maybe it should have die cut them. Let's have a look. Let's try again, and let's run it through twice and see if that was that was a me issue or see if that's actually the die. kind of how I wanted it first of all I reckon you could actually paper pierce all of these you know so if you did another color you could paper pierce all of these in I don't want to paper pierce in I want the outline but I'm going to need another piece of um, pale papaya so that I can run this through and get the second one that I wanted sorry for the delay <laughs> so it literally just was the pressure the first time I hadn't got quite right, so 
just run it through a couple of times and it will work a lot better. And then yes, so what I mean by paper piercing is if I did this with the, oh, let me create my sandwich a bit better so it goes through just a little bit easier. If I did this with the, um, come on, thank you. So if I, for instance, did this with Smoky Slate, as well, and then did another one, say with pool party, they would look really nice together. You could put the insides of this back. Um, so for instance, you'd have the outline in one color, and then you'd have this outline in a different color. So this would say be your smoky slate and you'd pop it back inside there so you had different colours building up. That would look quite nice. It's not what I'm doing for this card, but that would look lovely if you did want to do that. Right. Okay, so piece of basic white. We're back on the bigger pieces now. So this is um, 10.5 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres. I want a piece of scrap basic white because I'm going to be using the exact same sentiment and the exact same dye again with this. Where's my own chamois? Because I want to do this in... No, I'll keep it in basic grey. I was going to change and do it with pale papaya, but I think that could be too pale with this on the background. So I'm going to stick with basic grey. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Yes, we definitely will. And let's run that through. And the top plate, where did I put the top plate? There it is. I'm getting a bit messy on my desk. This is always the problem with my either midweek minis or my Saturday series. Because I'm creating a few cards, I have quite a few things out and I'm using them. I seem to get in more of a mess <laughs> and my desk ends up messy. So let me just straighten that up again. Put those off to the side and I think you can see where I'm going with this. I then want this one here and I want this one here. This one I'm going to stamp using pale papaya. This one I'm going to stamp using smoky slate. And I've still got this little one from previously, which I'm going to stick with the basic grey. this up so it's roughly in the middle then I'm going to use my leaves move the middle out like I did with the first one stamp that down oh they're beautiful look at those aren't they gorgeous I'm going to do a few of these around the edge of this actually these leaves are gorgeous Okay, I'm going to pop that back. That's going to go there. That's going to go underneath there. So now I'm just going to work out where I'm going to pop these little dots. So the smoky slate ones. Uh, 
and the basic grey ones. Oh, it went off the edge. Shh, we didn't see that. We didn't see it. We didn't see it. <laughs> right. Let's take that down. Couple of dimensionals on here. And then I'm going to pop this onto a card base. I'm actually going to mix this up when I'm decorating it. I'm going to use both the gilded gems from earlier and the matte because I liked both of them and I can't decide which one I want to use. So I'm going to grab both. Where's me? Um, I told you I got into a mess. I can't find my paper piercing. Dun, 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 dun. Can't find it. Right. I'll find it the second I decide to uh, finish the video. You watch, it'll just be like there. But um, oh, I'll use my scissors. So I'm going to pop one of the gilded dots into each of the big circles because they fit in there perfectly like that and then i'm going to pop one of the little black matte dots now be careful if you do these with your scissors because you don't want to cut yourself and i'm going to pop one of those like that around the card as well so then let's go through the three cards we've made card number one card number two and card number three it was using the Baytech boutique and it was also using the um, Baytech dies both can come from a bundle from the annual catalogue if you buy them from www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net so which one's your favourite then? My favourite is number one, Pool Party, obviously. Love that one, but I do quite like the effect of number two as well. I do quite like number three as well, but one and two I think are me two, me two up two. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. I'd just like to do a final dedication to Tilly Crafts. So that's Karen Tilly over on YouTube. She's at Tilly Crafts. It was Tilly who asked me to put this together. Speak to you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.